they, look, they look back from the date you apply. So then, look, now, did you get your green card based on marriage? Diversity. Diversity, okay. So you, you have to wait five years. So the look back period is five years, all right? So you left in 2009? No, I entered in 2009. And then I, I stayed at for a month. Okay, and left. And, and you were out for 11 months and came back yes. in 2010? Yes. Okay. 2010, you probably will not be able to file in 2015. But in 2010, I got the re-entry permit. Right. The, and I was out for two years. Then come back again, 2012, July. Ah, for another two years. Okay. Um, 2016, sir. The, the, the re-entry. So the re-entry business starts with the well, 2012? Because you, you need to show, after you've gotten the green card for five years, you can apply. That doesn't mean you satisfy the time requirements, all right? So you have to look at, at out of the past five years, I think back to 2016, after the past five years, you have to show that you've been here for 30 months, right? For at least 30 months before before you can file. But the re-entry permit just gives, just allows you to come back in and still keep your green card. That interrupted the continuity. So you can have your green card, but you're gonna to have to wait till you get the, uh, the uh, your, your citizenship before you can apply for citizenship. How much do I wait? I would wait three years. Thirty months is two and a half years. So two and a half, a minimum of two and a half years from when you came in. But, but I think they don't want you to do it. They may or they may not. The, 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 the law is changing it. And under some circumstances, uh, you may have to wait only a year before you can file. I would have to look at it in more detail to be able to give you a, a, a solid answer. I don't want to sleep you today. You, you certainly have to wait at least 30 months. Uh, you may have to wait a little bit more or a little bit less. I, I'd have to review it to give you a solid answer to that. But the, the, question, the question becomes is, what's the continuity? What's the, what's the break? How is integration? What's the term? How is how is USCIS gonna gonna interpret that that stay? Because let's say for purpose of discussion that you were working for a US government, well for, for a US organization, right? And they sent you abroad, you're working for that company. You were still paying taxes in the US, you were getting paid in the US. One might argue that your residence was still here. It's an argument. I'm not saying that that, that would be the determinative answer. But sometime, some issues are black and white. Some issues are gray, and it, it's a matter of what's your risk tolerance. Are you willing to take a shot and, and, and risk losing your six hundred eighty dollars because you want to make an argument you don't want to wait? Normally, I caution people to wait. Wait another six months. Wait another year. Don't don't risk losing you know the seven hundred dollars plus whatever fees and time and aggravation. You know, nothing worse than showing up at an interview, passing the exam, thinking you're all set, and telling you, sorry, oops, I just realized. Thank <laughs> you.